we got a little bit of a traffic issue building up here and I think I, I put in all of this extra industrial space, all of these farmlands, and that really pushed it over the line. And now, there's a few things we need to manage in this video. Truck traffic has gotten a little bit out of control, and, um, well, hang on a second. Over here, it looks like it's alright, but then, once we get onto the highway, it's like, oh my god, not good at all. Not good, not good, not good. And then we come around the corner, and you think, well, it can't go too much further. And then it goes all the way up here, all the way up and around and around, all the way around, around El Samhara, all the way over to, actually it's further than I thought, okay, somewhere just here. So that is, oh my god, that's so much traffic. Um, so let's let's manage that in this video you guys know i love managing traffic so let's go through try to fix it up as much as possible um it was working fine until i added in all of this space right here and that really just clogged it up too much and um it's just a little bit too full on right now and let's have a look at the traffic feels like i'm doing a city fix video maybe i should do city fi city fix videos again if you guys want so the issue is along here and it really is stemming down into this this area right here which is kind of tricky because it's under the highway we can't really see it so we might have to demolish the highway a little bit in the future just so we can see what is actually going on and i think we might need to adjust the tra the traffic lights and also add in extra lanes as well so but first of all let's start with what's going on over here um Usually I would say flip it around the other way. So we have a entry point here then an exit point So usually I'd say flip it around the other way But I thought this would be enough space for them to merge around there's a lot of lanes But what we're gonna have to do is actually flip those around So this one right here was from the 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 border crossing for the trucks to come back on and this one right here was to either go down into the industrial area or to go straight ahead into uh, Bersheva over there. So I'm gonna flip those around uh, and then it should flow a little bit better from that point. So what I'm thinking is I've removed the connection that was at this point and I'm actually thinking of adding these lanes over here starting here and I'm just thinking how many lanes should I actually use and should I do them together or should I do them separately so if we come over here if they're going to El Samhara uh, not El Samhara if they're going to Ber Bersheva they only need one lane and then they only need one lane if they're going onto the ground however it does break into three lanes so I could almost give these guys two lanes coming in so the question is do I do like a big three lane exit or do I do a two lane and then that splits? I don't, I'm just not sure because it's just kind of tricky, but we do have a lot of traffic. So we can't just do one little lane that breaks off and then goes into three lanes. So no, we definitely need at least two, possibly three, but probably no more than three. I was trying to make it break off from this point here so they could use those lanes, but I don't think that's gonna work. So we'll have to put that back to how it was like that. Um, how many lanes have we got here? One, two, three, four. So we can probably find a bigger lane for that one. I think the biggest I've got is a six lane. Pretty sure that's... Yes, so the biggest one I've got is a six laner, which we'll just have to do, I suppose. So we'll put that down. And I'll put back all the plants and things um, at the end. It's just kind of hard to do it with all the stuff in the way. So I'm think I'm hoping from this point here we can break it off, so then they can go straight off into the other points where they want to go. Something like that. Now, can I go into the node controller and can I make that a little bit nicer looking, maybe? drag it out like that possibly that could be too long let's just press play because sometimes if you make the node too big the cars actually go a bit funny but it looks like it looks like they're going through all right okay hopefully that'll be good so then that'll give us two designated lanes for them to break off and then all of this other traffic going straight ahead 
they, were, they won't really have to interfere with it. Okay, so I'm gonna try and connect this up and I'll be back in a second. Alright, so it'll look something like that and so now I have to start making it go higher from an earlier point. Um, I just realized this because we still have to connect this road back onto the highway as well for the trucks. Um, obviously we can't do it if this one is here blocking the way. So what we've got to do is, my bad, we've got to downgrade, downgrade from about probably even Oops, probably from about there. It'll make sense what I'm doing in a second. We'll drag this one to the side so it's out of the way. And then this one will start going quite high because it has to go up here, right? It has to be quite high. So it'll actually disconnect from here, from this one. Um, and then that'll allow us to kind of push it there out of the way more because at this point, it'll be up higher anyway. So we go like that. And I'll fix it up all in a second and it'll go up higher like that doesn't have to be extremely high just high enough so we can put a connection underneath so up like that so where are we going then so we have to make sure that the the height isn't too crazy it has to still be it still has to have a nice um, a gradient nice gradient coming up Okay, see how it's just enough space now for, um, we, we can add the other connection into here. And this one is up nice and high, so it's out of the way, so we'll just align that one. This is going to be a longer video, just so you guys know, because usually I just do speed builds for these types of things, but I thought, no, let's do, let's do a bit of a live play here. Now, this one's not cooperating. There we go. And I know you can adjust the heights differently, but I like to do them manually one by one. Okay, so from here, we could, well, it comes up here, and then we could probably add in, well, is it high enough? No, it might not be high enough. We might have to push that down a little bit further. Otherwise, it might hit a little bit. Then from here, we can upgrade it to the three lanes because we'll have the two lanes that break off from this point. And those two lanes that will break off, they will connect onto the ground area. So from that point, we'll continue on our elevated two lanes and it will connect up with the existing one. And then we can upgrade that to two lanes. We could even upgrade it to three, oops, three lanes from, hello, three lanes from here. But um, we just have to make sure it's not overlapping, but I think it's high enough that it's not going to clash with the road underneath. That's always what you got to look out for, the road heights underneath, but no, I think that's, I think that's high enough. So this should be the same height as, well, let's try that again. That one should be the same height as this one. This one should also be the same height as that one. And then after that, I'm not too concerned. So they'll come down and then they have three lanes. So they can go left or right, whatever they want. Lots of lanes to choose from. And this one right here, the gradient isn't too crazy. I think we can get away with that. Um, oh, that's right. We need to actually make this one lower from an earlier point. So down, because we have to get that other highway connection through here. So this one has to go down pretty low straight away. OK, 
Okay, that's probably as low as we can go. And you know what? It looks like a lot, but I just love when it gets like this because it's so unique and you have so many different areas and places where they can go. And you just need to do all of these extra things like this. And I know it looks over the top, but uh, I just think it's just so cool doing it like that. Uh, I just love it. So good. Now, we need to connect up our other truck connection, which should go probably like this. Come on, over to about there. Just so we can connect it, it'll be like that. And it'll come back all the way around here. Yes, I know, it's over the top. And then that'll connect up. Probably down there. Okay, oh my god, that took a little while. So I've just pressed play and let's see how it goes. It's going to take a little while. So let's have a look what I've done. Now you can come along here and of course I'll make it look all pretty with all the, the line markings at the end. Uh, first of all, this one right here is if you're either going to Ber uh, Bersheva or if you're going onto the ground level into this area. So they break off with two des designated lanes, which then goes into three, and then it goes off into the two separate ones. So this one right here is going to Bersheva. It just bypasses all of that stuff there, or you can continue on the two lanes, which goes into down here. So that's where you connect onto the ground. All right, so that one's pretty straightforward. Now, if you're a truck and you're coming through this part right here, you're, you're then faced with two lanes. So you need to make sure you're in, you're in the right lane. If you go in the right lane, this one just takes you down onto the ground. Just down, 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 down there onto the ground. It takes you right into the port. Or you can go on the left one, which takes you up here. And originally I was gonna make it come out here more, but um, it, this way fits better. It goes up and over all of these lanes and then this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So we have this lane here, which goes down, right? So as soon as that one goes down, this lane comes along here and basically follows the same slope down and connects onto the highway. So it's kind of parallel with both of them going down. So this one's on the ground, this one goes down, this one's on the top, but also going down, connecting onto there. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. Oh, look at all that traffic here, they come. Here they come, but that's good. I hope I think this will work. It just looks like a lot now, doesn't it? Um, oh, hang on, what's going on over here? Then we've got some kind of lane connection issue. Can I see in the tunnel, please? Okay, why are you turning around? That is no good. So you can go there, you can go there, and this third lane can actually connect back onto there as well. I don't know why they're turning around. That's not good. Why are you guys turning there as well? That's not good also. So, um, excuse me, what are you doing? No, that is not allowed. But anyway, that should start to clear up now. Um, the next question is, 
will we need to manage down here? I think we might have to. We've got so much traffic coming in over here. Oof. So I think what we basically all, all we need to do is just increase the time traffic lights, I think. So let's go into the time traffic lights. That one right there will stop. And now bear with me. Why is that open? Okay, I'll try that again. Now bear with me as I try to work out what I've done through here. Um, we don't have much traffic from this side going up. So we probably don't really need to change that. Maybe we will. We'll just do an extra 10 seconds and an extra minimum. Let's do 37. Okay. Okay. Next one is the turning lane here. So that one can also go up to probably 45. That one can go to what? 35. Done. Next one is that one going through, that one going through these guys coming off so that one can probably also go up to there that one can also go up to whoops that one can go to 35 as well save edit this one over here probably is not too bad uh, okay let's press start and see how we go hopefully that'll clear them out a little bit more let's speed it up as well um we'll close that i just need to see what is going on because I, I can't see anything um so over here it has four lanes so I'm thinking maybe we can upgrade it to four lanes on either side if I have a big enough one I think I do that one's eight lanes um, I think that's what I want eight lanes that means it'll probably delete my time traffic lights which would be really annoying All right, four lanes on either side. I think that might be a bit better, you know. That could work, actually. Um, let's just double check that all the, all the lanes are correct. So that one, yes, yes, yes. Um, that one should just be a turning lane, I believe. That's how I did it. Um, this one here, that one should just be a turning lane as well. And then that one can go to this lane or this lane. Oops, let's pause, getting a little bit laggy. That one can go there or there. Okay, it's been going a little bit better just with all of the um, extra lanes. One thing that I've noticed is, like for example, this, this node here isn't kind of categorized where the lanes go. So what happens and it really annoys me is like this lane here is for turning left but then what was happening was some a car or truck on this lane would cut across here and then it just wouldn't work. So I'm just going to go like control S straight through. There we go. Same for here. Control S just so it forces them to choose what lane they want earlier on instead of changing and choosing at the last minute. So doing this and I know someone's going to be like, don't do that, but it's what I do and it works. Um, it just forces them to choose their lane earlier and it allows them to flow through so much faster. So let's have a look over here. Also might help align this one as well. So that one is a designated turning lane. This one, of course, goes here. This one goes in the second. And then the third one goes into lane three and four like so so then that should help them go through a bit better um a bit of traffic over here jeez hmm i don't really like how they're doing that so we might actually say that this one right here you can only turn you can either only go you think you can go no they'll have to go around this way because i did make this like a big roundabout but it's square um, so that'll just force them to go around. There's enough lanes for them to go around that way anyway. And that should help clear it up because it, they're coming this way and they're blocking all of that traffic anyway. Same for here. Let's just go like this. They can only turn in there. Um, so really this lane isn't... This lane here is only for if they're coming down here and they're going up that way. Alright, I think through here is actually 
slowing a bit better but now we've got an issue at the roundabout and then down here is a little bit of an issue as well so for now I'm going to put the highway back together because all of the highway traffic is actually um, coming into the port area and making it clog up a bit more so I'll put those back and hopefully uh, I'll let it run for a little while and we'll see if it actually makes any Im improvement or not I might also have to change the roundabout as well I was thinking of maybe doing a kind of like a bypass road that goes over the roundabout or under the roundabout just so it's kind of separate if you know what I mean All right, you guys, it's been a little while since um, the first start of the part of the video. Uh, I've noticed all of this is flowing pretty good now. Uh, I adjusted the time traffic lights. I gave them all like an extra 10 seconds, which pretty much did the job, but also all of the extra lanes as well. And I kind of gave up and I removed the huge warehouse because that one was just creating way too much traffic. So that one has now been moved over to over there. So it's completely out of the way. There's really not much traffic over there anyway. So they can handle that traffic. And then over here, the last thing that we that I did off camera was I adjusted all of this area here. And you'll remember this used to be the roundabout. So this is the new solution now. Um, I used this new kind of road thing that I don't know what you call this you've seen it before on my channel and pretty much all it was all it does is the the vehicles going straight through they can just go completely over the top and bypass all of this heavy traffic that's down here they can go straight through and they can go left if they want to go up onto this side um, or they can go right if they want to go up there cars can come down here and turn around but then I also added this little slip lane here onto the highway which seems to be super super useful and it's really really helped then over here i just added a little roundabout here it kind of looks a little bit funny but we don't have much space in there and i just made sure that they can't cross over the median and that is pretty much it so i almost gave up i it almost beat me trust me it almost beat me but um yeah just adjusting that one removing the big guy that was here um adjusting the little uh intersections down here and of course adjusting all of that i'm glad that we got there and um it turned out pretty good i like the new farming area as well i think that looks really good and so that is pretty much it and i'll catch you guys next time